After winning the high school national championship, a lot of people expected me to be on cloud nine, enjoying my summer. But it was the total opposite for me. I had a lot of NBA players and future Hall of Famers hyping me up on social media, but they didn't know that I just grew four inches over the summer. I went from six foot six to six foot ten. And I never played as a big man before, so this is gonna be new. Over the entire summer, me and Bronny became like brothers. We worked out so many times this summer, improving each other's game. But now I gotta figure out what type of six foot ten player I'm gonna be. You see, ego and pride is the greatest downfall to a team. And our coach had the biggest ego and pride issue I have ever seen. And nobody really caught on to it until he brought his son onto the team and everything started to show for itself. I mean, it was clear as day that coach had favoritism towards his son. We all seen it. I mean, how does a freshman come in and replace a junior who just helped us win the national championship game? It doesn't make sense. So I said something to coach and we went back and forth and things went left. So in the middle of me deciding on where I wanted to play for next, I got a message from my boy Bronny and he hit me with some crazy news. LeBron James is actively shooting a movie about basketball with his sons and they want me to be a part of that. Bronny gave my number to LeBron and now LeBron is texting my phone. This is just crazy to me. I get to be in a movie with LeBron James and his sons and we gonna be playing a pickup game of 2v2? Say less. I told y'all we were somehow gonna get Bryce involved into this story. Let me know if y'all rocking with the story as well. The originality, the cutscenes, the storyline, man. Let me know if y'all rocking with it already, my boy. Hold on, big fella. Look at Bronny. Crossing up Bryce all the way in. That man Bronny out here bullying his little brother, but that's crazy. But that's how he get better though. Look at LeBron with the park little behind a back dunk. Oh, y'all wants to get fancy. Okay, we can get fancy too. Hello. Throwing them alley-oops. It's tied up to a piece. The step back pull up. Bang. That step back pull up crazy. But Bryce going to respond getting by him with a dunk. Bryce can dunk. Bryce is already what? Taller than Bronny, if not the same height. I think Bronny is listed around six foot four, six foot five, and Bryce is around there as well, which is crazy. Hold on, LeBron almost chasing down his son, but Bronny got away with the layup. I'm wrapping around wide open in the corner. Bang! This might be for a movie, but we actually taking it serious. Both teams trying to win. Look at Bryce fighting through the contact. He ain't scared. Hold on, get that ball up. I'm gonna shoot right over him. He too small, I'm six foot 10. You're too small, I'm shooting over you. Where the Duke Dennis, we shoot over those. Look at Bryce, still attacking, he's not scared. We trying to go for alley-oops. They still in the ball, Bryce wide open. He's not gonna miss with that sharpshooter takeover. LeBron putting me in the post, I'm letting him shoot. And that was a damn mistake, like LeBron can't do it all. What am I doing? But we only down by one, it's cool. Bronny with the step back, pull up, money. Bronny was in his bag, jab step, pull up, right in his brother face, green lights. LeBron James between the legs, pull up, responding with a three of his own. This is for the game, game point. That badge is activated. Hold on, Bronny trying to break his brother ankles, pull up, pass out the shot, green lights. Let's go. A few days after the movie shoot, Bronny was talking to one of his coaches at Sierra Canyon. They were speaking on the roster and how Amari Bailey went on to college, he's now at UCLA, and they need a few more people on the team to fill out the roster. They went to Bronny to ask if he wants anybody on the team in particular, and he mentioned a few names, but he mentioned one name that uh, I guess you could say was well expected. So on my way to a gym to get a workout in, I see a Sierra Canyon head coach at the door. He sees me, I see him, he approaches me, and he's asking me if I would like to play at Sierra Canyon. 
And of course, man, I ain't passing up an opportunity like that. Me and Brownie back at it again? You already know what time it is. You should have seen this one coming. I made it quite clear this was going to happen. Me and Brownie linking up at Sierra Canyon for our senior year in high school. What better way to end it all off by playing together and winning a national championship? I took one from him. He could have had two, but uh, why not get the last one together? And this is a conversation for later on, but we might even go to the same college. Just, hey, stay tuned. But listen, I made up a fictional team and I threw a lot of high school players on this fictional team for our senior year national championship game. The Las Vegas Venom versus Sierra Canyon Trailblazers. Me and Brownie versus Keontae George and Nick Smith. It's your boy Hoodie Shine and we back, man. Listen, we're going up against this fictional high school team for our national championship game, brother. We got the big red afro out. No more twist right now. We're going to be changing it up every now and then. Shout out to my guy Superbug, a.k.a. Nick, creating these hairstyles for your boy. But this duo right here, boy, is something crazy. Hey! The two-hand slam. Listen. The pick and roll game is about to be elite. Y'all know when I got my big, the pick and roll game is vicious. The drop step, reverse dunk. I'm a big now, boy. It's about to get vicious in that paint. It's about to get real wicked, little dude. And I'm honestly still trying to figure out my play style as a 6'10 player. Look at Brownie. Boom. Catching a body inside. But do I take the 6'10 Kevin Durant route who can dribble, shoot? play defense do i take the 16 Giannis route who's like a slashing guy a defensive machine but can't really shoot too well or do i take the joel and b route who can do it all look at me look at me just look at me head top boy Keontae George was not leaving without a fight that boy is a shooting machine but look at Brody oh damn Brody out here catching bodies too oh it's gonna be a long night easy mid-range jumper nothing but nets look at keontae george with the dribble pull up from the top of the key like that okay look at bay fall defense is dookie is that taco fall or brother y'all let me know bay fall i think that's his name bay fall is that taco fall or brother I, I, hey same last name and they both tall as hell who knows look at brownie when me and brownie is aggressive who's stopping this duo Hold on, look at the crossover, the step back from D. Oh, damn, Brownie in his bag. Spin back, the little wraparound hop step jumper. Money. Brownie is in his bag. We ain't done yet. Step back behind the back inside with the Euro with the little lay. Brownie, hey, listen, me and Brownie gonna do damage. Look at this little dude. You too damn little. Get your low ass off me, little dude. Come on, Keontae. What you down here with the Giants for? Why y'all leaving Brownie wide open like he can't shoot? That boy Keontae George can shoot as well. He going crazy. Lights out, unconscious from anywhere on the court shooting wise. But the duo is back at it again. You can't stop this duo. The pick and roll is elite. We looking like John Stockton and Carl Malone, my boy. The pick and roll game is crazy. The hop step, look at the finish. 83 to 76, but Brownie ain't done. Step back, cross, make it 85 to 76. Me and Brownie are now champions. 